Hey, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Miss Motivation. I'm Mogul Mindset. Ava Sheree, be inspired. How you guys doing? I wanted to come for Wake Up Wednesday to share and impart something that I found profoundly helpful and useful in our everyday lives. When we're evaluating our friendships and affiliations. One thing for me that I had a tremendous takeaway from in the past couple of weeks has been the quality of the sisterhood, brotherhood, friendships, or whatever. The quality mandate that we must set the standard upon. Um, it is important because you measure that according to the quality of what you give to others, and that will help you and guide you to the quality that you expect and command in return, okay? Not because you're judgmental, not because things have to be done according to your will, your hand, your way, because I said so. Obviously, I'm not speaking of that, but we can sometimes find ourselves even in that vicious cycle. However, what I'm speaking upon is when you know that you're coming from a genuine, excitable place about the interactions with people or said person or persons and the quality off jump is questionable and so you're going into it um gracefully and giving the grace that you want to in return and trying to understand and sometimes overstanding um you try to be like oh, okay this is a part a component of this person's personality it's not always like this i'm going to ignore the red flags so forth and so on what I've taken away and what I am instituting in my armor of wisdom and knowledge is that it's not about you being a good person or the person being a good person. It's not just about that. It's about being a God person. It's not about a good relationship. It's about a God relationship because the more people exemplify the attributes of Christ, God-like, um, God like meaning you're not a God, selflessness, compassionate, servitude, things of those natures. Once they align in what you set yourself up to um, do and be to others, let's make it less uh, time consuming to try to figure out when somebody's going to tap in to receive what it is that you brought to the table to offer. Because if they don't believe those things and attributes and characteristics within themselves, they're not going to honor, yield, or uplift, encourage, or empower because they're disengaged. That's unfamiliar to them by choice. And it is by your choice that you decide that that is a less quality like relationship that you choose to pursue. You are deciding to carry those weights upon your shoulders. And that is not what God intends. And it's okay to sever those ties respectfully. There has to continuously be a hard no for what's no for you. You don't carry the weights of others that they don't choose to carry for themselves. Um, and just because you're built strong doesn't mean that you're a doormat to attend to, carry, burden yourself down with the things that that person or that situation doesn't even want to address within themselves. Ultimately, you'll find that if we go back or present day and we look at the relationships or business ships or situationships that has failed, a lot of times we've carried things for far too long that you found out when the relationship was ending that they would have never carried for you. It was resistance. It was jealousy. It was envy. It was excuse making. It was intolerable. It was ignoring your petitions and your requests to stop a thing. And then when you leave it alone, you hype because it's like, oh, that one thing broke the camel's back. No, it was a couple of things, I'm sure, that preceded the ultimate decision to walk away. However, we don't have to allow that timeline to consume us when we already know the quality of what we're doing is what we should get in return. A good foundation versus a God foundation. A good friendship versus a God friendship. When those things are in place, you don't have to touch base every day. You don't have to be all up and through all the time. When they connect, it's God ordained, preordained, and there's so much more you can get from that one person you talk to once or twice a year then you talk to every day that is carrying around an ought against you, a low-key envy spirit against you. So think about good-like versus God-like, okay? 
good friendship versus God friendship. You'll find yourself more peaceful and more in joy with the love that is pouring out into you without great effort. It's just what is supposed to be. All right. Until next time, this is your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire. God's love. God's peace to you all.